everybody, and welcome back to PA Harness Week. Alongside Heather Moffat, I'm Steve Ross. Time now to go to our correspondent, Jennifer Sherlock. That's right. Jennifer met up with Colleen Chambers, and Colleen is just an extraordinary horsewoman, just knows everything about the business and everything about a horse. You got to check it out. This is a great feature. Colleen grew up with horses because her dad was also a trainer. She went to school and had other jobs, but something always brought her back to horses. I went to college, um, pre-vet, did other things for a while, and came back to it. What do you love about it? Uh, well, I'm able to um, make a living working with horses. Basically, it's not always a great living, <laughs> but uh, I'm able to work with the horses every day. And naming horses has become a fun hobby for her family. How do you come up with the names for your horses? Is it a fun process? Um, the family kind of collaborates. Um, my brother has a big part in naming. Um, usually we're going for funny names, not always names of champions. Um, he once came up with David Horselhoof for, for a name, which we thought was hilarious, but the horse never made the race. <laughs> I love it. Colleen's goals are big. One day she hopes to win one of the top races in the world, something all trainers dream of. We have some, I think, nice two-year-olds this year, so I'm hoping, hey, maybe one day we'll have that Hamiltonian horse. Um, who knows? That's a dream. And she hopes her horseshoe necklace, as she's wearing now, brings her just the luck she deserves. I really love my horses, and the, we get them when they're young, and... It, you know, I, I just try to keep them sound and healthy, and it's all about trying to find the good horse. Jennifer Sherlock, PA Harness Week. Thanks, Jennifer, and thanks, Colleen. Let me tell you, Colleen is so great. She actually helped her father in training this horse named J.M. Van Gogh, who's been a household name. Like, he was a champion in Canada. He's been a track record holder at tracks in Delaware. So, anyway, she has a great resume. I love her. Good stuff. Okay. Now, Harris Chester, race 14. It was the finale, the curtain downer, but it was a great upper of a race. And with that, here's Heather. You got that right here. Clear Vision has David Miller on the bike. Now, David has won with this horse the past three times he's driven him. So, let's see what happens here. Also, Sniper Hall is one of the leading horses in the first state. Ships here to PA. And Dial or No Dial. Despite having not won a race all year, I just love, love this horse. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be rooting him on. Dial or no dial is sent for the front. So is Sniper Hall. And these two will battle for the lead moving into the first turn. Dial or no dial crosses and clears from Sniper Hall. It's a length and three quarters to Clear Vision, who takes third from Eagle All. Then comes Jim Sky, who's reined back into the fifth spot. He's seven lengths off the lead. And he's Western Card is next, followed by Dream Luck. And it's two more to trailer Barber Pole as their single file behind Dial or No Dial through a 26-1 and one first quarter. The pace is quite fast, and Dial or No Dial leads them past us the first time. He's a length and three quarters in front of Sniper Hall. Clear Vision continues to stalk from third, and Jim's guy came out from fifth. He's up alongside Eagle All. These two four and a half from the front. Annie's Western Card is following cover to the race's midpoint. Barbara Pole saves ground toward the back of the pack, and Dream Luck is a wide last, but only seven lengths off Dial or No Dial, who reached the half in 54 and 3. Up the back stretch, Dial or No Dial. Sniper Hauler still 1 2. Jim's guy is gaining steadily in the breeze, now within two lengths of the lead. Annie's Western card was towed up second over Clear Vision, is locked in from midfield. Eagle All needs racing room, and he's six lengths adrift of Dial or No Dial. Dream Luck is stalled wide of Barber Pole. Dream Luck dropping back to last. Three quarters in, 122 and 1. Inside, 3 sixteenths to go. And Dial or No Dial's made every yard thus far. He maintains a length and a half lead from Sniper Hall. Jim Sky is stalled at the apex of his bid. Clear vision as clear sailing up the inside. But Dial or No Dial's hanging in. Dial or No Dial won his first race of the season, took a sub-150 mark in the process. It was a gate-to-wire effort and won 49-4, and 27-3 last quarter with Brian Sears in the bike. Clear Vision was second. Sniper Hall, 
to third. I'm happy for the horse and his connections, but even happier for you. Because she legitimately <laughs> does love the horse. It reminds her of her college days. Okay, here at Harris Chester on Friday, there were three count of three divisions of the Pennsylvania Sire Stake for three year old pacing fillies. And we'll start off with the ninth race, all hard gal off the three to five with Georgie Knapp. Lived just long enough to beat Kate's Joy, longest shot on the board of 50 to 1, ahead in 152 and 2. NF Salsa, an 18 to 1 outsider with Dave Miller, got third. Summary a six horse field, all you had to do was wheel the three to five on top, and you got back 103 bucks for every deuce you bet. Easy game, huh? Okay, now with the second division, it was race 11. Here's Heather. This is a great field here, and we've got world fame coming off a huge win, and it's a favorite. It's the lovely. Just won the Lismore final, but it was Ruffles Kiss who said, Kiss my grit. As she crosses the wire first in 151 and 4, Joe Pavia drives and trains. She was just super. First up, and then digs in during the stretch to win. Queen Me was second at 38 to 1, and then Ledger, Ledger de Pan, I hope I'm saying that right, was 15 to 1. Friday's 13th was the third division of the Pennsylvania Sire Stake. Dancing with the Stars was an overwhelming 1 to 5 pick with Jim Morrill Jr. and didn't disappoint. Winning by a couple of open lengths in 152 and 3. Imperial Flower, a 40 to 1 bomber with Dave Miller, got the belly. And the 1 4 exact that came back 42 60 in a short field with a 1 to 5 on top. Easy game, eh? Okay, stay with us when we come back. We will see the Meadowlands race, the second on Friday, the spill that caused so much, but thankfully everything came out okay. We'll have that for you. And also our blast from the past. Don't go away. Here comes Son Sam, wheeling three wide and going right up to join him. It's your big night out, and you deserve a little more. That's why you'll love the Downs off track wagering. It's more than a sports bar. It's extra fun because you can watch, wager, and win on the hottest horse racing action from Mohegan Sun at Pocono Downs and across the country. Downs Off-Track Wagering, Allentown, Carbondale, East Stroudsburg, Hazleton. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Hanover Shoe Farms welcomes our 2010 foals. Only one thing is missing. Their names. What's my name? Please, please, please tell me my name. I don't know my name. What's my name? Tell me already. Come on. Mama, what's, what's my, my name? name? Tell me, please, please, what's my name? What's my name? Tell me, tell me, what's my name? We need your help. Visit our website at www.hanoverpa.com and you can help us name these fine youngsters. What's my name? What's my name? Welcome to good old Sunday. 